In tonight's battle, Ryan, a.k.a. Weezer, takes on Captain Kareem in a three-round contest at Inside Nightclub during a Meet Me in Tio event. Each round is a challenge carefully designed to test a player's ability to seduce women in a real-life battlefield. The cameras are hidden, the women are real, and the game is on. Across town at Kai Lounge, our expert panel of pickup commentators with perspectives descending from the four corners of the male psyche. There's Alan, the cold, calculated master of pickup analysis, Peaches, an ex all star jock inspired seduction specialist, Sheldon, the mysteriously coy and unorthodox philosopher, and Chris, a hopelessly romantic man of integrity. Together, they will closely critique each player's performance and crown a single champion. The prize, a limo escort to an epic VIP event where the champion and his closest friends will enjoy full bottle service and the company of our sexy VIP girls. Tonight, the VIP parties at Cachet Lounge. Let's take a closer look at tonight's players. Up first, Ryan, AKA Weezer. Hey, what's going on? I'm RJ Lindsay, I'm an actor writer. Before I go out in the clubs, mack the ladies, work my thing, this is what I do, this is my domain. With golf and picking up girls, it's all about covering angles. It's precision and the approach. And finally, perfection. It comes down to it, it's all about the shafts and the balls, right? Yeah. I don't affiliate myself with the title player. I think it's uh, it's overused and it's overrated. Being an actor, it's uh, it's definitely appealing for uh, socializing with ladies, and you can be whoever you want, basically. There's guys out there for every type of girl, so you just gotta find out which one you have to be. To me, it's a linear process. First, you gotta capture the imagination, and then the heart will follow. <laughs> well, he had some very lucid things to say. Yes, yes, he did. He was very articulate, and he goes right against the grain of Chris. I mean, he's the antithesis of what you represent and stand for. Well, he does a little bit, because he's saying that he's gotta be a different guy for every girl. So that just means that he's never himself. I don't know what to think of him, but I do like his element of comedy. I think he's great. He's a fellow sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me this guy is cold, precise, and calculating, and, and uh, I think he's gonna do well. I know he's a player because he's got a bunch of change-ups ready. He's got the crazy look, he's got the calculating talk. Yeah. He's, he's gonna be a little bit of everything in the field. All right. He's gonna be dangerous. Well, let's check out Kareem and see, uh, see what he's up against. And now, Captain Kareem. Hi, guys. My name is Kareem. I have two jobs. I'm a waiter by day, player by night. Why I'm a waiter is because it conditions you to become the ultimate player. When you're waiting, you're approaching complete strangers, pitching yourself to them, and making them fall in love with your personality. I walk around in the bar, I approach complete strangers, and I close the deal upstairs in my bedroom. And now you're in my bedroom. This is where all the close the deals. Right here, let me show you the secret weapon. You got the lake, I bring them up here, bring the ladies right here. The women love to see water, love to see the trees, the sun, and of course, the nuclear power plant. It's irresistible. I live to talk to women. I live to hit on women, and that's what I'm all about. Walk up to girls, pretend it's nothing. She's just another girl that looks like without all that makeup. You always go out there and not give up. Expect that you're not taking, don't even want to take a girl home. When I go out there and hunt, I don't want to take any girls home. If it happens, if it pursues me, bonus. Our nature is to impress, hunt, and conquer girls. Seduce and conquer is what we're all about. It's a great attitude. Wow. <laughs> What? <laughs> they want to censor us? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's, he's, he's a great opener, because you have to be to be a waiter. I think after that, his game might go downhill. <laughs> In that occupation, you are forced to be social with people, so yeah. you guys have an advantage. I'll say this much, he's funny. I mean, yeah. that's a great attribute to have. A little <laughs> self-deprecating humor always wins over a crowd. Yeah. yeah. And I like how he's, he's very confident in himself, and he's content. You know, I, li I live upstairs. <laughs> All right, guys, well, let's see if he can serve up some game. All right, let's check it out. Coming up after the break. I'm sorry I have a thick accent. You know, I'm not from around here. <laughs> Guys, Ryan, fake accent, game one. Let's have a look. In round one, each player must obtain a woman's phone number while speaking in a fake accent. Hopefully, this will be the only thing being faked tonight, fellas. That's how it goes. We're 
Inside of about 33 seconds, he's integrated himself into a photo with four complete strange women. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic start. Fantastic yeah. start. You know, it's like when you go to the convenience store and you buy fireworks and it ends up being bigger than what you expected. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was great. What's your name? I'm so sorry. I'm Claudia. Claudia, nice to meet you. Uh, what's your connection with Russia? Do you know anything about it? I say about Poland, I like going there because the women are beautiful yeah. and the men are hideous. <laughs> so we have great odds. As Eastern Europeans, we should hang out, yeah. and figure it out yeah. uh, what we can do tonight. Yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to exchange numbers and we'll, we'll party later. Okay. What's the telephone number? 416. Hi. All right. I should have one question to ask. What's he going to do when she realizes that he's not Russian? <laughs> Figure that out later. Figure that out later, <laughs> exactly. Good opening leads to a good end. Yeah. yeah. You can't fail when you have an opening like that. No? What ended up happening, because he was the focus of their social setting, he's the life of the party. He did a great yeah. job here. One of the things that told me that she was into him was the fact she never turned around to check back with her friends. Yeah. She was gone. She was in a zone when she was talking to him. All right, guys, great job by Ryan. And let's have a look at what Kareem can do with the same situation. He's digging a hole and he's not gonna be able to climb yeah. out of this thing. Always <laughs> create lies you can control. <laughs> you know you're Portuguese? Oui. I'm Portuguese. No. Yeah. Miss Jim Pablo Pablo, Portugal. Oh. Oh. The fact that he hasn't made the same mistake other guys have made in that he recognized that the first one was done. Yeah. And now he's moved on. Yeah. And he knows the time limit exists. Excuse me. How are you doing? Good. What is your name? Daria. Daria. Daria, you are very beautiful. Are you speaking Spanish? No. Why do you speak Spanish? Do you speak Spanish? No? I don't understand, sorry. Well, I come from uh, France. And I don't speak English very well. But I think you're very beautiful. Thank you. Even though language is a barrier, we may have a connection sometime. You know what she's thinking right now? How many different languages can I say no to you in? <laughs> <laughs> so, maybe if you go away, something important, and then it's gonna think you're a beautiful dancer. I'm with my friend right now, sorry. Oh, she looks very busy. Something has to be said about this guy's ability to recognize when he's done. It's, it's like a, you know, it's like, you know why? Because <laughs> it happens so often. Uh, <laughs> his game is terrible, and I think we're going to see more and yeah. more uh, uh, examples of terrible game here. In, in his defense, I, I just want to say that he's, he's trying, but I don't think he's choosing the right accent. And I think his ability to use an accent is very limited. Everyone's allowed to be stupid on occasion, yeah. but clearly, Cream is abusing the privilege. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's move on to the next game. Fair? Yes. One nothing, Ryan. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Landslide. Let's move on. Coming up after the break. That's, that's pretty, I made her last night. That's very abrupt, That's man. beautiful, eh? Very abrupt. <laughs> Guys, round two, box out. Just like in basketball, you need to know how to move your man out of position and put yourself in the right spot. Let's see if I can do it. In this round, each player must initiate a pickup by positioning himself between his selected target and the man trying to pick her up. Make Coach Riley proud, boys. Ooh, you, I look just like Buddy Holly. Ooh, you. <laughs> 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 and I thought to myself, you look great with these glasses on right now. Oh, it's okay. I have a man. I'm sure about that. Thank you. Sure. Hey. Oh, wow. You know what he left for? He left to check for backup. The I handle Weezer? Let me go get some backup. Hey, let me find my friend who just left the yacht club. Seriously, look at this guy. Who wears okay. that to a club? Two seconds. 
seconds of your time. You look phenomenal for the record. Okay, thank you. What's going on with you, man? I'm f***ing her. I'm f***ing her. Just like that, eh? Plain and simple. That's, that's pretty good. I made her c*** last night. That's very abrupt, That's man. beautiful, that's eh? very abrupt. It's very abrupt, dude. It's wonderful. Yeah, for sure. I got a big Okay. <laughs> you know what? Something has to be said for someone who stares the bull right in the eye. I'm not moving. Well, whatever. It's for the record, though. You look great. Thank you. I thought I'd let you know that for sure. It's all right. It looks great. Thank you. You're doing a good job. What's your plan for tonight? What are you doing? Happy with my that's boyfriend, it. I guess. Yeah, that's it. Well, you know what? We got bigger and better things to talk about. <laughs> Yes. This guy's a PUA. <laughs> You're gonna go home with him? You're gonna do that kind of thing? Yeah. Well, we got a potential in what? the works. We got an after hours party if you wanna to come to it. I think I'm going to one for the film festival afterwards. Yeah. You might see me there for sure. Maybe. Try these on. No, no, I saw no, you. I'm getting glasses. You sure about that? No, 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 no. You sure about that? Her mind wants him, but her, her body wants Mr. Big. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not gonna get in trouble, am I? Yeah. Okay, sorry. And you know what I like about this guy? He's an intelligent player. Mm -hmm. He knew to pull the shoot on the first one where he almost got beat up by a guy in a sweater set. <laughs> and he hit the bull right head on with yeah. that big man. Yeah, I agree. He did a great job on the box out. He just didn't follow it up. Maybe he should have spent a bit more time choosing better targets. Now you got to be able to look in the field and calibrate which woman is attainable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to look at the relationships between her and the man she's with. If you don't, you might end up with a black eye. <laughs> uh, personally, I, I actually really like the way you handled the big dumb oaf. There could have been a million wrong ways to handle that. He handled it perfectly. perfectly. And that shows a lot of promise, and I like Ryan. No, I've got a lot of respect for Ryan's game. He didn't succeed here, but let's see what Kareem does. Oh my god. Melissa? Sorry? I'm sorry, honey. Melissa? You look very familiar. I know I've seen you before. It was a solid box out. Solid. Yeah. <laughs> he sunk his hips, you know, he, he, he pivoted. <laughs> he also made it seem as if he knew her, right? So the guy wouldn't just annihilate him. Yeah. You know what I mean? My name is Kareem. I'm one of the managers here at the club. I know I've seen you before. What do you say? I'm one of the managers here. I'm one of the managers here, which is great. Yeah. Social value. Straight up lie. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> yes. What's your name? Marie. Maria. Where are you from, Maria? No, not Maria. Lorene. Lorene. Yes. Lorene. Your name is? Kareem. Kareem. What's your background? Armenian. Armenian. Yeah. So what is your name again? Are you drunk? <laughs> <laughs> How can you forget her name? Two seconds. That's just a clear yeah, exposure of weekend. Poor game. No. Do I look drunk? Yes. <laughs> I'm not drunk at all. I just, I thought I recognized you and I wanted to come up and say hi. Okay. He has no game. He has no game. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was a great approach, but hopefully it'll be a great departure. <laughs> and I kind of feel embarrassed right now because as soon as I say, came up to you, I realized you were, you were the wrong person. So you decided so, to make conversation anyway? Yeah, exactly. But however, I'm glad because you're very beautiful. Thank you. Thanks, Krim. It was nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you. <laughs> Are these your friends right here? Yeah. I feel kind of awkward talking to you in front of him. You want to go somewhere a little bit private? No, that's cool. You can stick here. All right, honey. It was nice meeting you. I'll see you later. The best part of his game is getting out of the game. <laughs> He's had so much practice extracting himself from yeah. talking to human beings. Yeah, yeah. He closes nicely. You know, some people drink from the fountain of knowledge. This guy clearly just gargled. <laughs> um. He executed the box out pretty well. And, and just in his defense, he's got potential. And Kareem chose a great target. He just wasted it. And Ryan, unfortunately, chose bad targets, but had good game. Yeah. I, I say no points to either. Well, what are we going to say? 0-0 zero, zero here, zero, guys? 0-0. Zero. <laughs> yes. OK, yeah. one nothing. Ryan from the first game, nil-nil. It's a wash in this game. Let's move to the last game. Someone's going to hopefully steal it and seal it. Coming up after the break. Come here often. Come here often. Oh. <laughs> and later, the exciting conclusion to tonight's battle. All right, guys, this game is the Friend Destroyer. <laughs> and uh, we don't mean it in the same uh, train of thought that you're thinking about it. Uh, it's a little bit different. So these guys are going to compete against each other. Let's take a look and see what happens. In round three, each player must obtain a woman's phone number while his opponent is sent in to sabotage the pickup. Let's see how our players survive the Friend Destroyer. What's going on? 
How are you? You all right? You look good. You guys are kind of like the same little bag thing going on. It's awesome. What's your name? Sorry. My name is Andra. Andra? I just love the way that he's acting like he's not trying to pick her up. She's not going to get the defense up because she doesn't think he's picking her up. Yes. But we all know <laughs> this guy's picking her up. Yeah. Are you familiar with film at all? Ryan. Dude, cheers, man. That's awesome. Jamie has herpes. I'm sorry to tell you. Yeah, for sure. Buddy, yeah. you're acting up and has herpes. Cheers, man. Yeah. Have fun. Oh, wow. that's a pretty big age bomb there. Yeah, that was pretty <laughs> huge. He bought this drink for you. No drink? Sure? Yeah. He bought that drink for you. I tried. I think that that herpes bomb is actually going to defeat him here. What do you guys think? If you don't come clean about that and make sure that that's not lingering in her mind, mm -hmm. you're dead in the water. Like she's probably really running that through. Oh, her. yeah. yeah. <laughs> right yeah. now, I just be like, look, that's my boy. He's drunk, and he's, he's just trying, he's just playing jokes. Yeah. What, uh, what are you going to do afterwards? Do you like driving you somewhere else, maybe? Oh, my girlfriend, OK? Cool. For the record, she's cool. What? But for the record, she's really cool. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. When a girl comes in the cock box, just try to create a new frame for you to jump through by trying to prove yourself. What he did is he reversed the game on her. Yeah. He said, your friend's cool. That's why she's here talking to me. Yeah. OK, I'll give you five minutes if you can, if you can make her yours. Okay? I, need, I need two. Oh. <laughs> What I love about her is he's talking about her like she's not even there. Exactly. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh. Thank you. Team Russia. Yeah, I'm going to go to another party. But proposition. Okay. Give me your number. I'll give you a call. I don't give my number. I'm sorry. Your friend right there in the red tie. She said, she said it was cool. Yeah? We hung out, yeah. You know what? No. You sure? I'm sure. Have fun. All right, for sure. All right, guys, well, we just saw Ryan do some pretty good things. Unfortunately, he didn't close the deal. He did some pretty good things, but he started creeping me out with his tone of voice and his cold and calculated ways. I think his, his, I think his tone of voice and cold and calculated ways are great. Uh, <laughs> but like me, sometimes you get a little bit too arrogant. I absolutely love this game there. Uh, it's unfortunate he just didn't address the, uh, the herpes bond that was dropped <laughs> on him. You know what, guys? If Kareem does something magical here, he might be able to pull something out because yeah. Ryan was great, but he didn't do anything spectacular. So let's take a look at Kareem. Watching at home, that, that should never come out of your mouth. You know, there should be a fine and a jail sentence for ever using that line. No, it's my first time. My first time too. I love oh, it. You're lying. Right. 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 Why is this guy going big game hunting? Go he, big or go home. No, what are you talking about? You gotta shoot layups. <laughs> Not every game is a Super Bowl. <laughs> I think he knows he's gotta pull something out of the hat to oh. win this. And what better way to do it than approach probably the most beautiful girl in this club? Yeah. Oh. Even the way Ryan walks in is calculating. Hey, bro, those two strippers we just talked to, they're over there and they want to f us. We got to get going. We got to go. go now, man. Let's get out of here. Let's go. All right. Uh, hey, I'm oh, sorry. We got to go. Have a good night, bro. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, I feel bad. Do you? <laughs> Why? Well, because he had something good going there that he doesn't usually usually have going. <laughs> it's like he walked in and just flipped the switch off. <laughs> Wait, hold on, Gabby. Gabby, it's not like that. I swear. Come on. No, no. At least he did something right that uh, Ryan didn't. He defended himself. The only thing I've seen this guy do right all game is slink off like a beaten, <laughs> rented mule. He came up talking about all this big game he's got, you know. This guy is as bright as a zippo in a dark stadium. I think he means well, and, he, and he's a real dude. You know what I mean? He still comes across as a guy who's still trying, and he's, and he's learning. He actually did fairly well there. Yeah. He was the best version of himself. 
yeah. in that game. That's like someone telling you, you did great, you came in second place. It's a two-man race. <laughs> you know what, I'll be honest with you. It's one thing to learn, it's another thing to apply, and I raised my glass to Ryan. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Here's the application. App here's the application, <laughs> and here's the hoping that Ryan finds a pulse. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Ryan, a.k.a. Weezer. Enjoy your VIP experience. Mark.